Hello and welcome, my name is Ahura and this is my let's play series of Your Wolfen and Fall where we are playing as the Ottomans and as you can see we are getting big. Last episode we ate Kaffa down here and we started a war on Clemson which I plan to feed most of to my vassal um, but first we have to win the war so let's go and do that. They do have a ally down here in Tabuktu but don't think he'll be able to do much. Mostly he's probably being an, be an annoyance. So we took his capital. That was just a matter of time. Sank his fleet, captured a galley for ourselves. Might as well go and repair. <coughs> or oh, sail out again, actually. Did you up go there? Actually go there. Got a conversion. Convert some sheer land. And we crushed that soldier. Crushed his fleet. Now he's sailing to help with the trade protection. How are we doing with our fleet? We're actually full on our force limit and you should be protecting trade in Raguta. How are we doing up here? Well, we're doing pretty good. How much are we paying for corruption? Let's just change that a little bit. So probably, yeah, they won't accept this. We need to get them booked out of the war. So can we get a, we could even get them to transfer trade power, but I don't want that. I just want, um, Change. And now, march these two down. Take this fortress and this fortress. Oh, we can. Well, march them down there as well then. And we don't really have an army near there. So, do we. Yeah, we probably need to march this army, make a general, and march. Another conversion. How are we doing on our religious unity? 96% even with all these provinces. Because we are at 261 provinces now. So we have, where do we have pirates? Pause. Can't really see pirates anywhere. Should be a pirate flag under the tree. Is it in Genoa maybe? Can't see it. Well, I'll just send these to on pirates in Ragusa since it's our main node. And of course there's a rebellion where I sent the troops from. That makes sense. Is this not actually our... Oh, it is our... Our seat at least. Go 
go to seat view. Should be finishing that pretty quickly. And we got our cores. Send off a couple. No, oh, not just one missionary. And he needs to take back Qatar before he can go and deal with the other rebels. Can he do this on his own? It seems he can. So let's get to booked out of this war. Why, when will these small countries learn that an alliance and prestige is not worth this? We want war reps. Uh, we might as well call this guy back as well. Send the army up here. And then we can eat Clemson. So I want to give this one to... to good. Um, so just want to check something out. So I can take... I could do this if I wanted. Just any of these provinces that I really want? No, not really. Like These will all be territories anyway, so I won't really get much out of them. I'll get more out of giving it to Tugurt, so they'll grow in power. The only thing uh, is that I would like to have Fig uh, Figuig as a province to them. I can always give it to them afterwards, but uh, we'll see. I'll definitely give them these provinces. Of course, I need to take this problem for myself in order to call this one. Um, and be order to call stuff here and stuff. Uh, make claims, what, whatever. So we take all of this. Take the money. And end the war. And we then also don't need your military access anymore. And we need to core, and we of course can't core figure it before this one is done. And maybe time to eat these countries as well. A lot of nice. Do we have any claims? Do you have any claims? Nope. So, we could attack Austria now. But I would like to let some more of this aggressive expansion bleed off, actually. So let's send a spy here. And send a spy here as soon as we can. Skilled diplomat. We can get 50 diplomatic power or diplomatic relations. Let's just get some power. And send someone to Persia as well. Let's spend a little bit of time dealing with getting some claims. Safir Sultan, the first and only concubine to Murat II, for a long time became slightly bitter when her husband took more concubines and served 20 more sons and 27 daughters. That's a lot of children. She soon forgot her bitterness, and Safir Sultan earned the gratitude of the Sultan by procuring more concubines for him. Murad valued her and consulted with her on political matters. This only, their only son, Mehmed, became solid after Murad's death, and Safir became Vilde Sultan, Mother Sultan, a title which touched with much power. She steered Ottoman politics together with uh, Ghazan Fer Aga, chief of the White Enochs and head of the Indarun the imperial inner palace. During her son's military campaign, Safia was left in charge of the treasury and managed to persuade her son to follow her advice in many political matters. 
Sifia was described by a Venetian ambassador as a woman of her word, trustworthy, and I call say that it her that in her alone have I found truth in Constantinople. Therefore, it will always benefit your serenity to promote her gratitude. So we can get a cheap treasurer or a cheap diplomat. Um, uh, let's get the diplomat. Do we want to use her? Um, he's certainly cheaper than the trade efficiency guy. How much are we earning from trade? Not that much. We would gain... Uh, well, she is better relations over time, that's really valuable. It's less, uh, more burn off of the uh, aggressive expansion, so I think I'll take her. It's worth more money. And the base power declines. And we can demand some administrative support. Extra admin points, always nice. Soon we'll get forced march. And we'll also moving closer to development and administrative efficiency. Moving closer to not more states. Anyway, let's build that. Uh, I believe it was a plantation up here. 47. I think it was this one I wanted. That will pay itself back in like a hundred, a little more than a hundred months. So that will that will pay for itself pretty soon. Actually, in this almost the same time as some of one of these temples would. Let's build a couple of these. Uh, do we want to do that again? Yeah, we might as well. Grand general ship, admiral ship, and lots of ships, uh, and. Of course, both of them are shit, so they'll just fire them right away. But it will earn us some influence, which will improve these bonuses. So that's nice. I would really like to get rid of these GME. But I do need to core... I, uh, I need to convert all of the Coptic lands. I do have a couple of reforms that I can't get rid of. I don't think it'll be, like, right away. And he is still... Trying to get down there. Well, I think this is our first three star general, actually. Interesting. Secrets in our alliance. A battle isn't the. Uh, we have had this one before. It's just. Um, uh, let's just give them some chance to get some spy network. It's not really a problem. We still have an alliance with Bohemia after all these years. It's weird things that happens in this game. Vin is left the coalition, which is nice. And another. Let's leave behind two soldiers to start seizing back these territories. Another conversion successful. Gain stability because we don't have high corruption. And Venice allied Denmark. That's a weird alliance. Uh, like a small country down here with 
three provinces allies a country up here with one. So the problem with Win is, is that I'll probably not be able to take much land from them. So they have... They have a fort down here actually. On both these islands. So I might be able to take this down here uh, without actually getting to this fort up here. It's worth a shot. Um, let me take this. Where is my army? There's one here, there's one up here. Let's take this one down instead. Uh, take you down here, send you here. Let you do some time to hunt pirates in Constantinople. Trade map mode. We are ruling most of it. Um, I was thinking about, we are getting to some provinces now that we can start to uh, colonize actually. So it might be a good idea to go for uh, expansion ideas rather than humanist as our nest administrative because it gives up extra merchants, extra colonists, um, and global trade power as well as state maintenance modifier. and. Uh, a castle spell against all in Asia and Africa, so I think expansion might be a good one. It'll save us some time on cla claim fabrications that we don't really actually need. So, fabricate claim on Tunis, I think it's the highest. Uh, down here we just probably have time to do both of them. Tunis, yes. And since we are heading it all to our vessel anyway, why waste time on give you Tunis and give you uh, Camides or Gafsa, yes. So they are just with each other, so let's just go there. Tell put that. Um, is there a problem where well, we can fit them both up there, so that's all right. And we go to war with Tunis and Jared. So let's do a split here. Put the other siege guy in, in charge. Do a declare war. Call in as co belligerent. Might as well send our. Uh, do a hunt enemy fleets for occupation effort. Yeah, let's just do that. Why are we losing money? A um, lot of my army maintenance re reinforcements. Why didn't they have a capital? Did we take their capital that fast? Crazy. So, our king died. Got a new one, 316, a 332 heir, which is okay, I guess. Uh, of course, take these two decisions. No reason to have this policy right now. This one might be worth it once we fill out quality. So, 
Janissary War, demanding high pay, the Janissaries revolted in 1447 or 49. They had now become so powerful that from 1451 and onwards, every new Sultan felt obliged to pay East Janissary a reward and praises, uh, raises pay. So we can either lose discipline and manpower recovery speed for his entire rule, or pay some ducats and take a loan. I think we'll just gonna do this. Same down here. And we have now created a powerful vessel. Uh, send them up here. And we're gonna do kind of the same thing here. Send the fleet over here. Denmark, the Knights, and Hesse. So the question is if we can get enough war score without. So Rhodes, the Knights are only allied with Venice, so we can declare them as a co. We can even declare war on them and then use Venice as a co belligerent. Venice wouldn't answer. The Knights would answer, so we're gonna do it like this. Might as well send both armies there. Fleet goes there. And we can make that core. They are starting to have some liberty to desire now, so it might soon be time to eat them. Conversion. And it seems like this will be a quick war as well. And you go down there. A ninety days each. But yeah, as I was about to say, this is this was mostly a matter of if I'll be able to take this land without going to go up and, and deal with all of this, which will be hard. And let's just take half of them to this sea zone. Where they can block that part as well. And send you up here again. Let's go and help. Took out that fleet. And join you together and go there. 
And Spain is no longer a valid rival. That sucks. Well, they're in war with France now, our other rival. Get some combat ability for our cavalry. And uh, people are leaving the coalition. So now it's just a matter of time before we take this old fortress. For many years a scorn in the eyes of the Ottoman Empire. use some of that power over here in Persia before we get discovered. And we can get one more claim and then we can go to war. Another revolt. Ooh, and Muscovy should, we should probably start start dealing with them as well. So many people to attack. So, Rhodes, you should really be Ottoman, don't you think? Yeah, right. Nice bunch of money there. And what about you, Venice? What do you say to parting with these two islands? You say fine? I say give me some war reps as well. Fine. And sail you here. Make some cores. And we finally have all of this. And we all of Constantinople. And we got the Erebor to add to. Oh, they actually lost that modifier once they weren't Venetian anymore, so now we have like 99. The only trade power that's left that's not because of boats are this. Why are our ships not giving a bonus there? Oh, they're repairing. And you shouldn't hunt for pirates, you should protect trade in Ragusa. And I just managed to take that before we got down there, of course. But I think it's time that I end this episode. It's already run a bit long. Um, and more gold rush. I think we do need a inflation guy soon. And it's just time to do that. Might as well do that before I end this video. Recruit a minister. Make him our guy. Means we'll now have to do way more time on these conversions. But hey, such is life. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, have a good day.